Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Victoria. Today I'm going to be talking about and doing a look with the khaki palette from the new Haze Obsessions by Huda Beauty. And I have already done a video and look using the sand palette and I'll go ahead and link that here. The line comes with three different palettes. I have these two. It also comes with one that is focused around purples. All the palettes do retail for $29. The Haze Obsessions line also has a mini liquid lipstick set and it comes with four different shades. And I'll go ahead and link everything uh, down below so you can go ahead and check those out. I was super excited about the khaki one. It's perfect for fall. It's got those olives and greens some caramel tones and it even has like a few different like pinks in there which I thought was interesting and I just think it's absolutely perfect for the fall I completely forgot that it wasn't even fall yet I think like the first day is tomorrow or something but but all these different companies are already releasing their Christmas and holiday collections I completely forgot that it wasn't even fall yet so I was super excited to do a fall inspired look using this palette today so I'll go ahead and show you all the swatches from the palette right now and then I'll go ahead and jump right into the look So to start, I'm going to take this mid-tone brown shade here and I'm going to put that on my crease and kind of start creating that halo shape. Now taking the lightest matte shade, this one here, I'm going to use that to lightly blend out the edges. I'm not going to blend it out too far because I do want to keep that general round shape. Now going in with that beautiful middle olive green, that matte green, I'm going to build Kind of where I went with the brown, just not as far out, but still following that shape. And I'm using a pretty dense brush. This is the Firm Blender E44 by Sigma. Lightly blending again. Okay, now taking that darkest shade, which is this one here, I'm gonna go in with this Sigma Precision Firm Blender E42, and I'm gonna darken very closely to the center of my eye. Now I'm going to take this like olive shimmer shade right here and I'm going to use like a slightly damp brush. This is just one of those brushes that comes in the Anastasia palettes and I'm using the smaller end and I did wet it a little bit with some setting spray and I'm just going to apply that on the lid right in the center right where we want that, that pop. Now going back in a little bit with that darkest shade, just cleaning up wherever I put too much of that shimmer. Now 
Now just taking this lightest green shimmer here and I'm gonna tap that directly on the center of my eye, right where we really want that glow. Now going back in again with that darkest shade and just retouching that once more. Now just smoothing out all of the edges one more time with that mid-tone brown. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to use that same lightest green shimmer and I'm going to use that for the corner, the inner corner. This one I feel like you really have to warm up on your finger, otherwise it's Kind of hard to get out of the pan. Now I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and the other eye and then I'll be back for the lower lash line. Okay so I finished the other eye and my face and I did add um, some black line on my lower lash line. Now I am going to take, I'm going to start off with that mid-tone brown and I'm just going to add that, sweep that under. Now to kind of make what I did on top, I'm gonna to go in with a little bit of that middle olive shade. I'm not sure what brush this is exactly, but it's a very small like detail brush. Happy off any excess, we don't want any fallout. And I am mostly leaving that center alone, just going from the inner and the outer. Once again with whatever was left of that mid-tone brown and then just kind of soften the edges of those dark areas. Now with that darkest shade and going super lightly in the same area on the outer and the inner. And then one more time, blending. Now with this, this is one of the Morphe and Jeffree Star brushes. This is the JS13. I'm gonna go in with that middle olive shimmer and I'm going to apply that to the middle of my lower lash line. And actually I'm gonna wet it a little bit. Now I'm going to do it the other side and apply some lashes and then I'll finish it off with some lipstick. And for the lips, I am going to use my favorite lipstick of all time. It is like a beautiful brown burnt orange. It is the shade Maud um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is literally like my all time favorite. I found it. No, I... I found it and I loved it. And then one time when I was at is it like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something, I saw they had it there. They had <laughs> they had so many, and I just like completely stocked up because I was like, I can't ever not have this lipstick. Just right before it dries, so not completely freshly put on, but not completely dry yet, I am going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is the shade, actually I'm gonna use this one. This is the shade London. And I love using this on top of like any lipstick that I want to look a little bit muted or toned down a little bit. And this is the finished look using the Khaki Haze Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty. I think this is like the perfect little palette to have for the fall and to add those pretty greens and caramel tones to your kind of everyday fall looks. I do like that you have some of the greens and olives, but you also have some of those warmer orangey browns and then even some pinks if you want a little bit more of a lighter look. I think that was kind of like a really nice touch 
to add in there. For the most part, I didn't have any like problems with the formulas of the eyeshadows. I did, however, have a little bit with this like lighter green one that I used for the center of my eye. Um, there was some fallout with that, and if I didn't use my finger, it was pretty hard to pick up with the brush. Just something to keep in mind. I don't think the other shimmers are like that. That's like the only one. It is a little bit more glittery than the other shimmers, so that is also something to keep in mind if you are going to go in with your finger. Just be careful not to touch the rest of your face afterwards. I have a really bad habit of doing that. Um, so you'll sometimes see glitter all over my face if I do use my fingers for any of the shimmers. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you picked this one up, if you plan on picking it up, or any of the other haze palettes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else you guys want to see, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I will be doing a review and look with the new Marc Jacobs Terrific palette their new like cherry themed palette, the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette, and I also have the ColourPop Coral Collection, Coast to Coral Collection coming in soon. Hopefully that will get here. I think it's been over a week now and I haven't got any like shipping notifications, so fingers crossed. <laughs> and also the Glam Light Ice Cream palette, and I'm so excited about that one, but I believe it was like um, Giselle's biggest launch and she's just completely flooded with orders so they're all being sent out hopefully soon so keep an eye out for all those videos that are to come thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time